Here we are again, 1030F, Bill Me Scott. Got the ribs all ready to go. And I got the varnish on them. Got the airline structure on them. I'm ready to put on the hinges. And this is how they go. I made these little bushings out of this piece of steel tube here with my nice little cut off saw that my buddy Twin 50 got me. This thing is unbelievably handy. You do so much stuff with it. Wood, metal, plastic, you got it. So this is how it goes here. Bushing goes on there, and this just goes in there. over that, like so, I'm going to hold this parallel to the bottom, alright, and right there, I get there. Flip it over, get a couple little washers. And uh, I'm going to be leaving this on here permanent, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little red lock. Dab will do you. Hope I got it right, because this stuff is really hard to get off when you do. bolts they prescribed. There's not much left over sticking out, which I don't like that. The thread lock will take care of it. And the general rule is to have at least two threads sticking out of your nut. Kind of industry standard.
a lot of things on these pans, guys, that could be improved, and it probably never will be. See that on the back side, I got this nut, four inch washer, and that nut right there. Just a touch on there. We got deep bolts, that's your long. The other one's a little too short. Don't need much of this stuff. This is gonna be inside the wing, so I'm not gonna be able to get back to this once it's covered. Not just a, I got the starboard uh, spar here, getting ready to go. I'm going to build this starboard wing first, and I'm going to go ahead and get all these ribs ready to go. I'm not going to mount the horn on here now. I'll get it and show you how it's going to go on there, though. So here's the airline horn, and uh, it'll mount right here hook into this airline cable you'll see right there on the airplane. And then when this is cut loose, you know, up and down, you get the picture.
All righty. Want that to want that to fit flush, you know, on there. Got a little glue buildup where there's some gaps that where uh, Dave Cooper left them when he made them. All right, so I gotta find me some little itty bitty screws. I could use nails too. Let me see what I can find. Let me use a little pointer to get it started. I think I'm gonna put any Loctite on. These are made and come back off. Now I can take these screws off anytime. All right, and this is the starboard side root rib. Like everything else, won't be needing it for a while, so I'll put it in the box. That's a port root rib.
load these up. And there we go. Starboard root rib that'll be going right into this wing here. Give me a week or so I'm not. Alright, now the next thing you gotta do is do these. And I'm going to uh, put these on the next episode. But uh, these go here, like so. And these go on here. But I got a, I got four grandkids over here. It's about dark, and I promised them we were gonna make a fire tonight. And that's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, burn some stuff. You know, kids like that. Stuff. And I'm gonna burn weeds while I'm at it, so it's gonna work out. I hope you watch this, enjoy watch this little tedious operation, because that's what it is. But it's almost done. And um, we'll start putting a wing together, which is going to be great. If you got any comments or something, leave them in there. Glad to talk to you. I was telling my wife Darlene the other day, it's really nice to uh, talk to people from all over the world. It's pretty cool. And uh, get different people's points of view. I get a few tips every now and then. And everybody's been very kind with their words. Thank you very much. Hope you have a blessed evening. Take care.